Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I'm putting videos, series of videos I've been doing for a while. I'll go over there, trap food and drink items, I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm gonna talk about the stuff. I'm gonna let you know all you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, uh, you know, I mean, it, it might be of dubious quality, but I don't think it is. Um, could be poisoned again. I, it seems a little bit extreme to go over there and take out a, you know, low level YouTuber, but uh, hey man, we live in a crazy world. While we're living in a crazy world though, I'm inside the truck as you can see. But on top of being in the truck, I'm wearing a cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing folks? I'm rocking my boom clutch shirt. That's a little bit dirty, but <laughs> that's because I was wearing it yesterday out at a social event, happened to be some food and such. Uh, and I went over there, I, on my way to go make a trek to go pick up something, hopefully. And, uh, I figured, you know what, I want to get in a review real quick, you know, while the, the morning's still good and everything. Cause once I go get this thing, provided I can find it, that's going to be the rest of my day. So I figured, fuck it. I'll just do a thing and we'll get a thing. But anyway, the last time that I did a review while wearing the clutch shirt was actually yesterday. I went over there and tried out a couple of items from a place called Witch Witch, which is a sandwich shop, kind of in a similar vein to Potbelly or Subway. Although, it, in my personal opinion so far, definitely exceeding, definitely Subway, on a similar level to Potbelly, but for me, maybe a little bit better. But that was just a small sample size, folks. And while I was there, I didn't just get those two items, I also got, boom, what the hell's this? This is another sandwich from them. Specifically, this is their Reuben Witch. If you're not familiar with the Reuben, it's a classic sandwich, one of the greatest sandwiches of all time. Typically, it's on rye bread. You have, uh, oh, Swiss cheese, uh, corned beef, Thousand Island dressing, and sauerkraut. Yeah! Sounds like it should be awful, but somehow it works. And in most situations where I have the opportunity to try out a Reuben, I will do so. When I saw this, I figured, all right, I gotta give it a go. So I didn't have time to review it yesterday because I was on my way to a place. So I just got in a couple quick ones and I saved this one for today. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. Let go. Sandwiches. Ha ha ha! That'll be the thumbnail. But anyway, all right, well, and this is one of their like main menu items. You can see there's there's some, there's some sauerkraut in there. There's some corned beef. Oh boy. Um, I love man, I love a Reuben. It's so good. Now, obviously, it's not on rye. Uh, I think this is on wheat bread. I don't. The website actually does say, because I went, I double checked to remember what all the ingredients were. Um, and on the website, it lists it as being on rye. But the place that I went to, I don't know if I just went with wheat because I, I knew that wheat was an option before they made any other options, or if they just didn't have it available. But eh, we'll give it a go anyway. I'm not expecting this to be at like a proper Reuben level, but you know, let's give it a go. It's good. I like it. Um, now, here's the thing, though. Is it as good as a proper Reuben? No. Absolutely not. And it's not just the lacking of the rye bread. A proper Reuben, when it's done and made the way that it should be made, there's this kind of wonderful balance between like the saltiness of uh, the corned beef, the, you know, the tanginess of the Thousand Island, the, uh, I, the, I don't know exactly how to describe the Swiss cheese, the Swiss cheese taste of the Swiss cheese. Um, and then, you know, like the sourness of the sauerkraut. 
And it all manages to work together extremely well. But you have to have that balance. Because if you don't, it's very easy. These are all pretty strong flavors. It's very easy for one or more to go over there and kind of take the reins. That's kind of the case here. The biggest tastes that I'm getting on this are the sauerkraut and uh, the Thousand Island. Those two are hitting really hard together. And that's not a bad thing. Still tastes good, but it does go over there and to some extent limit the impact that the uh, oh that the cheese and the corned beef is having. And especially with corned beef, that really is supposed to be the hero, you know, above all else. So it's a little bit disappointing that I'm not that that's not cutting through the way you probably would have had to have doubled the amount of corned beef to really get the full effect. Um, but it is still there. It's not completely gone. Um, even the switch cheese, which I would argue is probably the weakest of the flavors in terms of like the punch it can give, it's still present. But again, mostly what I'm getting is the sauerkraut and the uh, the Thousand Island, and the sauerkraut really at the forefront of that. The Thousand Island is just kind of adding a tang to it a little bit. So. It's good. It's a tasty sandwich. It's not giving me the proper Reuben experience, which again, I wasn't expecting. Um, I was hoping for something a little bit closer to what I was expecting, but it's still good. It's just, I did, uh, the other sandwich I did of theirs was the cheeseburger sandwich. Um, that one, I felt was actually really well balanced. Like, even though it had a lot going on, they did a really good job of, uh, of balancing out the overall flavors. So everything complemented itself well, and it was just a very, very tasty, you know, sandwich to, to eat rather than breathe in, I guess. That was a redundant thing I said there. With this, the balance is just off. It's still good because all of the components are good, and it's just, it's a classic combination. It just works well, you know. It's the reason why the Reuben's been around for as long as it has. But again, this is one where, with the Cheeseburger Witch, the thing that kind of helped it out was the fact that, while it was the Cheeseburger Witch, it obviously wasn't trying to be a cheeseburger. It was taking those components and then deconstructing it and giving it a new format. Fundamentally, the Reuben Witch is still a sandwich. It's still basically a Reuben, just on a different type of bread. So it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't benefit from that, like, sort of reinterpretation. It still should taste, you know, like a proper Reuben. But it is good. I do like it. I don't like it as much as I enjoyed the Cheeseburger Witch. Um, but, again, if I'm going comparing it to, like, Subway and, like, Potbelly, it's definitely still better than Subway by miles. For one thing, you're getting a, a good amount of ingredients in it, which typically with Subway, that's not the case these days. Um, and it does still taste like a quality sandwich for, for what it is. Compared to... <coughs> It's definitely better than fucking Jimmy John's, too, by the way. Jimmy John's sucks. I'm sorry. They're just freaky fast, freaky good. First of all, <coughs> y'all ain't freaky fast. You might be a little bit faster than, you know, Potbelly or Witch Witch, but not by a substantial margin. And as for being freaky good, y'all ain't. You just ain't. I'm sorry. Uh, definitely better than those two. With Compared to a place like Potbelly, because they are a little bit more artisanal, Cheeseburger Witch alone kind of worked for me as being like a, a, a really solid representation of what Witch Witch could do. With this, it's lowered a little bit, unfortunately. It's still a good sandwich, though. It's just, you know, 
I'd have to go over there and explore more of their menu, which maybe I will in the future. Problem is, there's none close to me. I just happen to be around one at the time. Uh, but now, you know, if I had Subway away at the bottom, Jimmy John's not even on the fucking roster. Uh, and then, you know, like Potbelly kind of up here, I would have said that, you know, with just the Cheeseburger Witch, I would have said, you know, maybe it was a little bit higher, just a little bit. With the Reuben Witch not quite living up to expectations, it's a little bit lower. So they're they're on somewhat similar footing. Now, would I recommend it? Uh, it depends on what you want. It's not a bad sandwich, but I think for me the fundamental issue is that if I want a Reuben, I want a Reuben. And this, while still being good, it just doesn't doesn't live up enough to what I personally want it to be so for me i know like i wouldn't probably wouldn't order this again uh i would try other things on the menu so it's hard for me to recommend it because if you're like me and you really enjoy a reuben sandwich this isn't quite going to get you there it's not going to be bad it's still a good tasting sandwich but i think there's probably better things on the menu and this one's just good but a little bit disappointing anyway <clears throat> that's going to do it for me on this one folks five things before i get out of here have yourself a great rest of the day, spectacular rest of the week, monumental rest of months, two pounds of stretch here. Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a true Reuben sandwich rest of your life. I'm talking proper New York deli style Reuben. Or I have never been to New York, never been to a New York deli. I would like to go to New York. I would absolutely love to go to a New York deli. I'd love to get like a proper, like sloppy, huge Reuben sandwich. Uh, maybe one day. But... I've had some really good Reuben sandwiches at some really nice delis and stuff, so even if they're not in New York. Uh, final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. Sometimes it can be the most difficult thing in the world to do. But you live in a world with Reuben sandwiches, okay? And, like, they've only been around for, like, I don't know, Maybe like 100 years? Maybe? I don't know when Reuben sandwiches were invented, but it's an old-ass sandwich at this point. But in terms of the history of, you know, humanity, it's, it's been a tight, like a, a fraction of a fraction. Then you go over there and you consider, you know, the history of the planet, the history of the universe. The Reuben sandwich, the fact that we exist at a time when the Reuben sandwich exists is pretty amazing. But even, you know, Reuben sandwiches aside, when we face those situations when we're without a Reuben sandwich on us, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully it makes things better for everybody. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to go to Witch Witch. Maybe you're going to want to test out their Reuben Witch, you know, after seeing my thing. Fair enough. Give it a shot. Maybe like me, you're a little bit disappointed, but you're like, all right. Here's what we're going to do. Everybody get in the van. We're going to New York. We're going to a New York style deli. We're going to grab us a Reuben, a proper Reuben. And you start making your trek along the way. Maybe you hit me up in the comments and you're like, get in the van, bitch. We're going. I mean, I don't know how well that would go. Probably wouldn't be very safe for me. <laughs> but provided that certain, <laughs> certain things can be put into place, plus I'd have to talk to taking off time for work and such. We'll go over there and we'll go on a road trip to New York for a proper uh, Reuben sandwich. Or conversely, you could not do that at all. Maybe you just happen to live in New York and you're just like, I'm just going to go down to the deli down the block and get myself a really great Reuben sandwich and just have that be my lunch. All right. 